I want to be the very best, like no one ever was. What the fuck? Welcome back everyone to the Otaku Collective. Now, I was going to open uh, that Throne of Eldraine bundle box, but my package just came in out of nowhere from Amazon. I finally got all the stuff for the Rebel Clash set for Pokemon, the new Sword and Shield set. So, let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Now, right guys, so as you can see, we got our mailing package here. And, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I suppose on camera it looks decent, but... I mean, look, I ordered, like, I ordered everything. I ordered the booster box. I ordered the trainer box. Uh, it comes with several loose boosters as well as all the, uh, the promo boosters as well. And even the theme decks, which I didn't really want. Those things are, aren't really useful unless you're trying to get into the game and you need a deck. But they do have promos in them, so. But it all came bundled. And I believe the seller's on here. MVP Marketplace on Amazon. So again, like I did in my last video with the Throne of Eldraine, if I got hosed, we will see, because I'm opening this on this video, and y'all get to see it. That's why I wanted to put this entire package on the video, just to see if anything funny happens, and I wanted to capture it. And that way, other people, you know, are aware if you want to buy this product or whatever, and you don't get hosed. Like I might. Such a good Samaritan, aren't I? So, now, this is kind of, <laughs> I'm surprised they were able to fit all that in here. This is a, this is a, uh, I mean, it's a, I suppose it's an all right box. It's, I guess it, it'll keep things a little tight in there. But I was expecting something bigger and with more packaging. And, that, and as you can hear, yeah. It's kind of loose, so um, let's uh, let's open this and then yeah, it's all a mystery to me. I didn't open it whatsoever. As you can see, the tape is all still on there. So uh, yeah, let's damn it, let's take a look. I had to change the camera angle a little bit so that way I can fit this whole thing in there. All right. Okay, I mean, I suppose it's not always the uh, the fault of the seller. The condition these things arrive in, that's normally freaking the post office or whoever it is that delivers it. Okay, so we got some some info. I don't know what that is. Okay, so our first thing I'm taking out of here is our theme deck and this one is the Zakian theme deck for the Rebel Clash I don't know if I'll open it now or maybe in a different time but we'll see I'll judge depending on what I see in here okay the next thing okay so here we got our loose boosters I believe there's one more let me stick my hand in this thing oh here we got our other theme deck so we got our Zamazenta Theme deck for Rebel Clash. Now again, these things are kind of pointless to buy unless you want, you know, the promos inside the box. Unless you want to start as well. Ooh, and here we got one of those loose boosters with the promos. Nothing looks damaged. Everything looks pretty brand new. And so here's that other booster. Put these off to the side. Yeah, and this is the main thing right here. This, this is what we're looking for. The booster box itself. I swear these look smaller than I remember them, but it's got the original wrapping on it, and they don't seem to be really damaged. I mean, I suppose they're a little, they were a little mushed up inside the packaging, but they look all right. All right, maybe not too bad. Looks like. UPS didn't screw everything up in here. There's another single booster promo. We'll open that up in another video. Here we got another blister promo. 
Ooh, with the Rayquaza in there. Rayquaza. However you say it. Again, another video. Let's see. Alright. Here's the last blister promo with the Duraludon on there. He looks pretty cool in the game, but I haven't used him myself. And the last item. Yep. Time to throw away this big chunk. And here we got our trainer box for the Elite Rebel Clash. Now I bet you're wondering, where the heck do you get all the cash for this stuff? Well, I barely make do, to be honest. I kind of just spend all my money on stuff like this, but to me it's an investment. I hope this channel gets big soon. Hopefully it pays for itself at least. Because I'm not going to stop collecting. So I'm not going to stop making videos, regardless. It's just fun for me. But yeah. So let's see. What will I open on this video first? Should I go strong? And go for the booster box? Should I go midway? And go for the trainer box? Or should I get some appetizers? And open the blisters? Hmm. You know what? I really want to go strong. So... I guess I'll go with the booster box. It's a little late, and I just got back from work, but... You know what? Screw it. We're going with the big boy. Now I know we're going to get some pulls. There's, got, there's not going to be any bad luck here. we got to get something. Obviously, it's a booster box. So, let me change the camera angle real quick, and... Let's get started. Alright. Here we go, everyone. Woo! Alright, I got my sleeves. I got my... Hard cases, and we are ready to go. So let's get on it. All right. Yeah, the package came in a lot sooner than I thought it would. I mean, I just got home from work, and the package was just here. So that's sick. And it's funny because the order status still says that it's arriving at the end of the week. All right, so we got... You know, I haven't actually evolved my Pokemon yet, so I don't remember the name of this. I know that's Toxtricity. No, that's, uh... Actually, I don't know what its name is, I forget. Inteleon or something like that. And, uh... Cinderace, I believe that's its name. And I do apologize, guys, if you hear some banging in the background and whatnot. My cousin is doing some work on a shed. But... Hopefully, I'll be editing that out later on. Okay, so let's get started, everyone. Ooh. We have got a long video ahead of us tonight. It is night for me here. I'm currently waiting on another video to be rendering. So I figure, well, why not record something else while that's going on? All right, let's. Get started. All right, so first, let's check out, see if there's any funny business. Because I swear, I've been getting a little bit of that when I open blisters. And I suppose, yeah, blisters aren't the smartest thing to open. Because it's possible you'll get that shit. All right, and I haven't seen any of the cards in this set yet. So it's all going to be a surprise to me so I can have some fun along with you guys. All right, so let's... Get cracking on the first pack. Oh, I swear, this better be on this side. Alright, so there's your code. Alright, so let's see. One, two, three. Energy on the front. Why did this why do these packs feel so light? I guess it's just because I just opened uh magic boosters on my last video, and now it just it all just feels so thin. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what we got. So we got a darkness energy. We got a Milo, we got a Shuckle, Luxio, it's a lot of reused artwork, I know I've seen that before. Nosepass, Wingull, Coughing, letting out a fart, Bronzor, the Toxel, that baby version of, uh, well, the first evolution of Toxtricity. And we got, I swear you, you know what, I've said it enough times already, you can barely tell that this is a reverse. Turfield Stadium, and... Spirit Tomb, weak start, and a Pokemon I really don't like. I don't want to say hate, 
Because that's a little bit strong, but yeah. All right. So, yeah, let's keep going with this side. You know, tell me, guys. I think this version of Toxtricity is only in Sword. And I played Shield. And he has, like, a mellow version, apparently, where he's, like... Where his um, spikes are blue or something. Ah, damn it. Okay, code. And... So I've just been wondering, like, what the hell? Did I do something wrong? Or did it... Maybe I raised it a certain way to cause it to have that look? Because... Yeah, I was wondering. Everybody else had that yellow version. But I had the blue one. Cursed shovel, okay. Grubbin. Elect a buzz. Not to. Hone edge. Impidimp. I suppose, yeah, it does all seem familiar to me because I just opened a, a figure box, which the video I accidentally deleted. But it had two booster packs, so I've seen a little bit of the artwork. So we got a Gyarados. Reverse. And... Frack. Just a wish cash. Dang. Okay, look. If this box ends up being garbage and there's actually nothing in it, come on. I mean, everything looks all right. The bottom looked a little funky, but everything should be okay. Hmm. Yeah, with magic, you can open sh you can open these things from the back pretty easily. I have to keep opening them from the top when it comes to Pokemon. Here's another code. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, let's get something. Lightning energy. Got a Luxio. Draclok. A Bronzong. Snover. Pidov. A Daramaka. I like this one better than the fire version. I think I think it looks a lot cuter, but it's evolution with the little snow fro. I don't know. That looks a little funky to me. Atena, that was a pretty nice Pokemon, too bad. Scyther, we got a Carcoal, Reverse. You know, this Pokemon is pretty sick in the game, as far as its moves go and everything. It just keeps speeding up every time it attacks, which is pretty cool. And, really? A Ludicolo, just dabbing on me right now. Real, okay. Come on, man. Straight up just trolling me. I've opened three packs in a booster box and I still got nothing? All right. Come on. Give me something. All right, code. I wonder what the trainers in here look like. I know they had a nice Marnie in the first Sword and Shield set and I wanted that. But I wonder if they have her in this one. Full heal. Trainer Court to the beginning of the game. The Blade. Stuffle. Low Tad. <laughs> Doesn't he just look a little lame in there? A little dumb? It's kind of funny. Looks like he's going to drown, even though he's a water Pokemon. Growlithe. Looks pretty neat. I've always liked Growlithe. Roly Coley. Such a strange Pokemon with the wheel on it. I would make an interesting Pokemon toy. Metatite, a reverse burning scarf. Everybody's wearing these now, am I right? And so we got our first hollow Grim Snarl. I thought this one looked pretty cool. I have I captured the Impidimp in the game and I was trying to evolve it, but I have not gotten the chance to get back into my game. I told like I said before, my sister just took over my Switch completely, and I haven't been able to play anything. For a while but either way all I really do is work and record videos which I suppose is fine I enjoy this too but beginning withdrawals from not playing games code all right one two three four by the way guys is um, the online for sword and shield like is it only for for each game, like if you play sword, you can only play with others who have swords. Skyla, I'd like to see her in a trainer, but I'm sure she's not in this one. But this is reused art, I believe. And, uh, because I have shield, 
I have both, actually. But I'm playing Shield just because everyone else is playing Sword. And I can't find anyone online. Galarian Corsola. Dude, this Pokemon is creepy. I don't know what they had in their heads when they were making this Pokemon. This, this is straight up a dead Corsola. I mean, just look at this thing. And then when it evolves, I mean, hopefully we'll get to see that artwork, but it is just... That's some cursed artwork. That is a cursed Pokemon. Literally, cursed drop. Let's see here. Watch your step when wandering areas, oceans once covered. What looks like a stone could be this Pokemon, and it will curse you if you kick it. <laughs> okay? What is with the Pokedex entries in this game? They're just all... Crazy. Mr. Mime, Ice version, Icy Wind, Triple Spin. This one, this version of Mr. Mime is pretty neat. Palo Sand, Reverse, and... Alright, we got our first V-Card in Eldegoss. I believe this is, uh, Milo's last Pokemon in the game. Yo, look at that, uh... Look at that afro it's got. I mean, it's really got the detail on it for a Pokemon card. That doesn't look too bad for a V card. I've noticed, and I've mentioned this many times before, I do not like these. Happy match, float up, number 19 of 192. Alright, sleeve you. We'll get moving on. Now, I know I'm not putting them in the hard case yet. I slapped them on here just because I felt like it. But, you know, maybe if I get, you know, once I get the Hyper Air, I will slap one of those babies on it. But man, I swear, none of the kids in my town are getting any hard cases for their Pokemon cards, because I have been buying them up, I swear. God, come on. Alright. Yeah, every time I go and I see some more, I just straight up buy all of them. Because I just hard sleeve all the good cards. Code... One, two, three, four. Oh man, this video is going to be long. All right. Psychic energy. Another psychic energy. Horror energy. What? What is this? As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides energy. Interesting. Horror energy. That's... Okay. Palpitoad. Never liked this Pokemon. Morgrim. Interesting design. One of the good ones. A school vet has a bunch of nuts in its cheeks. LOL. Galarian Mr. Mime. Caterpie. Looking real intense. Looking at the moon. Like that one scene, the first Pokemon where it was trying to hump Misty's leg or something like that. Get this disgusting bug away from me! <laughs> Misty didn't like it. Barboach. Urokuda, a reverse Metatite, and an Unpheasant. Quite unpleasant. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so we got Intellion. I believe that's what it's called. The only reason I really remember the name on this one is because I watched a lot of Max Mofo. And he has that one as its main. Alright. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby. Give me something shiny. Give me something nice. So we got... That's... Wait, that's Steel, right? Steel? Sonia, what's up, girl? Where's your trainer card at? Mescarain? Hatterim? You know, what's the, what's the one on this one? No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. What the heck is going on with the Pokedex entries this generation? Especially its evolution. It just keeps getting more violent as it evolves. Bunnelby. This version is cute, but I really don't like its evolution. Phantom. I'm just being negative about all the Pokemon. Dreepy. This one's alright. The ghost salamander. I didn't even know it was a ghost. It just looked like a regular salamander. Glarium farfetched. Then big unibrow. I thought that change was interesting. Not too bad. It evolves, it gets like a shield and sword leak. Butterfree. 
Looking nice. Reverse and all right, another V card. Then Kirchin. Haven't caught this one. I don't think uh, I've been catching a lot of Pokemon. I haven't played in so long, I can't really remember. That looks pretty cool with the lightning. Not too bad. Counter attack, Kerzap. Okay. Sparkle, sparkle strike. Sparking strike. Number 72 of 192. Alrighty. No hyper rare yet. I wonder if they're seated in a certain way. I don't like it whenever they have these boxes and they're not randomized. They have an order to them. Which, when I did my my Dream League video, um, ASMR Dream League video, I noticed that it was every two packs that you get a hollow or better. Which, I don't really like that. You know, which I guess you can just mix it up yourself, but I mean, I mean, hey, it's not a normal thing for just your average person to be opening a booster box. I was thinking about this. More Peko. Look at that. Looking like Sonic over here. That what is what in the world is that? Torment and Spark. I guess that's a lightning attack with a ham made to look like a hamster wheel. That's pretty cute. But uh, yeah, I was thinking about that. It's not a normal thing. It feels normal to me because I've been doing this for a while, but it's not a normal thing for someone to just open an entire booster box. I mean, they're all meant to be, you know, uh, bought one at a time from a store. Vulpix, I absolutely love you. Phantump. And that's what I noticed from the Dream Link booster box, uh, booster packs. They have the little circle thing on the top. And from that, you could tell that, you know, they were meant to be hung like in like a store shelf or something. And a Scizor. You know, it's not a hollow or anything, but Scizor is a really cool Pokemon. It's always been a fan favorite. Damn, I wonder how long this video is going to be. My magic video was pretty long. I think it was like over 30 minutes. But, I mean, I couldn't help it. Like, I had to look at every card. It was so... Every, all, the, all the artwork is so beautiful to look at. And the packs are so big. Like this, like I said, these feel so thin compared. They put like 15 cards in those things. All right, so we got a Darkness Energy. We got a Charger Bug. And never like this one either. It's just kind of weird. Skunk Tank. I mean, then no real comment, I suppose, you know. Got to have a Skunk Pokemon in there eventually. Magikarp. Man, that's pretty cute. Look at that Chubby Chew over here. The Pikachunk. That's adorable. Yeah, no magic carp is supposed to be the one on this card, but I'm looking at this Pikachu over here. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Poor magic carp. Metatite. Milkery. Not sure. I mean, it's a cute Pokemon, but still, the idea is just. I mean, there's Pokemon for the kids, and then there's Pokemon for the older fans like myself. Impidimp. Another Toxel reverse and and another V card. This is a weird looking Pokemon. That's a Q V. It's a penguin. Looks like it's had its head frozen. Is that like a single hair on the top? What the heck is this, bro? Cold absorption blizzard. Number 55 of 192. Where do they get their ideas from? I don't know. But, V card nonetheless. Alright. Save you up, and we move on. Dang, do I put this in part one or part two? I don't like, I don't like parting out my videos. I don't know about you guys, but, like, if you're gonna open a product, go all the way. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, so we got our Warner Energy. Heat more, looks all right. Zatu, Tranquil, Metatite, Milkery, Growlithe, Impidimp, Bunnelby, a Rolly Coley, Reverse, and we got a Luxray, Hollow. 
Now, that one actually looks pretty cool. I have liked this Pokemon. You know, I for for some reason there were, I guess it's because I played that one ROM game called Moimon. And they made a pretty cute version of this as like some kind of Mo girl. And they look pretty good, and that's that was like my main Pokemon. But its uh, original form still pretty nice. Alright. Next pack. Code card. Alright, one, two, three, four to the front. So we got our darkness energy. Our Carcoal. Hatch Rim. Pokeball. Litwick, Shinx, that one's pretty nice too. Roly Coley, an Appalin. I believe this one has a Gigantamax form, and it looks pretty nice. Like some kind of, what is it, some kind of camel looking thing with a giant pie on its back. Hatena, the Blade Reverse. I guess I won't find out for a while until I get my dang game back. Alright, Spirit Tomb. Ugh. I mean, it's a ghost Pokemon. It looks like a ghost, I suppose. It does its job, but... I don't know. It just seems kind of like a... Kind of like a slap that design on and just send it out kind of Pokemon. Alright. Code. One, two, three, four. So I wonder if the online... It's still popular right now in Pokemon. Tool Scraper? Because I don't see anyone. Dan? Okay. Hello, Dan. Karkul? Hatena? Arrokuda? Galarian Meowth. I didn't know what to think of this one, honestly. I mean, I thought it was neat at first, but... I don't know. I guess I just like the original. Still looks kind of neat, I suppose. Looks better in the artwork on the cards than it does in the game. Cirque Skit. Another Magic Carp with that cute Pikachu in the background. A Probo Pass Reverse. Jeez, look at that thing. Just looking down at you with that big eye. What the heck? Okay, and a Glarian Mr. Rhyme. So they added another evolution, but a Mr. Mime doesn't get a new evolution. Just this one, which I found interesting. I wonder if they'll add a new evolution to the original Mr. Mime. Screen cleaner, triple spin. Pretty neat looking. All right. Still got plenty more to go. My God, this is going to be a long video. All right. Cud. Well, I'm the one who decided to do a full booster box tonight. Right after work of all times. Lightning Energy. Heracross. Capacious Bucket, whatever that means. Truffled Stadium. Turfield Stadium. Milkery. Glarian Farfetched. Glarian Meowth. Caterpie. Cursed. Corsola. Skunk Tank. Aegislash. That's a pretty cool looking Aegislash. Wait, is this our last card? Yeah, like I said, you can't tell that these are reverses. Dang. Man, what I'd really like to do is open up an older set. Like Neo, or like from third generation, which is my favorite generation in Pokemon. But you know, you get so used to this full art stuff that you look back and you're like, well, I'll enjoy it for a bit, but... This newer stuff, the full arts, do look a little better, I'd say. Alright, we got our fighting energy, our ground energy. Galar Mine. Bronzong. Metapod. Vulpex. Love you. Coughing. Shinx. A Yam... Yamask. Applin. Phalanx. This was a neat Pokemon. Just, it just bothers me knowing that there's several of these, but it's counted as one Pokemon. I don't know. 
I think too hard into it, I guess. The kids don't think too hard on it, but for me, it's just kind of like, I feel like they should all be one separate Pokemon. All right. And, all right, so we got a full art. Melodic. Ooh. Look at that green. Ooh, look at the texture in the back. Like it's got some kind of uh, runes or something back there. That's pretty nice looking for a V card. This one kind of was spoiled on, um, spoiled for me. Like I accidentally put on a video without thinking of the set, and I just saw this card slapped down. I was like, "Dang, okay, well, there's one card that was spoiled." But yeah, that's a we got a full art. How many full arts do we get in a box? I wonder. Because I know we get only one Hyper Rare in each box. And we haven't reached it yet. So I hope it's a trainer. Their code. And I also wonder what the money card is in the set. We got our Fire Energy. Twin Energy. Looks pretty neat. Heliolisk. The Blade. Dreepy. Snover, Binnacle, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one either. Daramaka, Vulpix, a Lombre, looking like it's really enjoying itself, and Barbarical. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one either. <laughs> so what is up with these designs? All right, one, another more. All right, code. One, two, three, four. We got our Psychic Energy. Chatot. Dracloak. Lampant. Trubbish. Pidove. Helioptile. Voltorb. Sandy Gust. Lotet Reverse, and we got a Hollow Clefable. It's actually pretty nice artwork. Very like flat, kind of crayon looking. That's pretty nice. All right, next pack. And I tell you, I'm glad I finally caught up to a set because I've just been opening old stuff, and I know. That'll probably cost viewers. They'll probably just see the videos and be like, man, this is old. Why are you opening that? Open something new. But I just like the older sets. Dream League, like I've mentioned before, is my favorite one. It just looks so good. Oleana. And I've had to catch up too. I haven't been collecting a lot of cards before this, uh, before this channel. Oh, wow, look at that. Clefairy. That's absolutely cute. Look at that. That's adorable. That would look sick in like a full art or something. Voltorb. Breleth. Reverse Shinx and... Nothing. Butterfree. I have to admit, even though I'm more of a Pokemon guy... I did really enjoy that magic booster. That uh, Throne of Eldraine bundle box. And I really enjoyed just re-watching that video multiple times because I just really saw the, the genuine excitement in myself. And I still, of course, love Pokemon and all that, but... The thing about Magic is that their artwork is so varied. Magmar. With that butt forehead. Electabuzz. Scovet. Snover. Natu. Reverse Zatu. Huh, okay. And. Uh, Seismitoad. Toad. Sesame Toad. What's. To yeah. Didn't like this one either. With all those bubbles on them and whatnot. Alright, so we are halfway there. I swear this 
could be a video on its own already. My gosh, I feel like I have to take a break. Imagine opening an entire booster box of magic. I mean, it's one thing opening uh, Pokemon. The boosters don't take much. Unless you're going straight for the meat. But you know what? Let's give that a shot. Okay. And we got... Hey, that one. we got our Hatterene. Foil. So, let's take a look on this one. It emits psychic power strong enough to cause headaches as a deterrent to the approach of others. See... Now that's a more tame version than the one it has in the game. I think the one in the game says if you make too loud a noise, it just ends up beating the crap out of you. <laughs> but yeah, I do like this Pokemon, like I've mentioned before in my other videos. I like the pretty Pokemon, okay? I like... I like the low punnies. I like... The Gardevoirs. And I do have this one in my main team. Nothing funny going on there. I just like those type of Pokemon. All right. I wonder where that Hyper Rare is hiding. Maybe it's at the end. Okay. Code. One, two, three, four to the front. Man, I should have eaten something before I started. Like I just, I got, uh, I got the box and everything, and I got excited to start, and I just didn't even think about taking a dinner break. Carcoal, Wingull, Coughing, Bronzor, Toxel, Litwick, Apple in Reverse, and another creepy looking Probopass, just staring at you with that big eye. That is some creepy artwork, bro. All right. Next one. All right. Code. One, two, three, four. All right. Let's see where those trainers are at. Burning Scarf. Indeedy. That Pokemon's pretty cute, too. And I'm loving the purple. Skyla. Binnacle. Scyther. Volibee, Dreepy, Magmar, The Ware, Reverse, and a uh, Barascuta. Nothing. All right. You know, another problem with these big videos is I've got nothing to say. Gosh, I just used up all my energy in the first part of the video. Grass Energy, Skunk Tank, Full Heal, Sonya, Pit of, Darumuka, Darumuka, Dar Darumaka, God, Athena, Scyther, Nosepass, Trevenant. That one looks pretty neat. Reverse, and. Nine Tails. Now, this is not a foil or anything, but I love Nine Tails. That one looks so nice. Nine Tails is, of course, in my main team as well. Just love that Pokemon, man. Loved it ever since I was a kid during first gen. Okay. There's our code. Two, three, wait, three, four, okay. All right, we got our lightning energy. Got our speed energy. Huh, okay. Metapod, Heliolisk, Trubbish, Helioptow, Hone Edge, Litwick, Corsola, Shuckle, and another Grim Snarl, Hollow Foil. Well, not exactly the best pull so far. We've had a few V cards. We still got a quite amount of bulk in here. Come on. Where's all the kawaii at? All right, 
One, two, three, four. I need something waifu to put to pop up. Get me the boobies! Dang it! This pile is getting a little too big. Scoop up net. Chatot. Charbug. Charger bug. Volibee. Corsola. Toxel. Mr. Mime. Snover. I swear you get tired of seeing this artwork. The Morgrim Reverse. And Snorlax. Having itself some grapes. Because Lord knows you can use some fruit. <laughs> All right. Come on, baby. Code. One, two, three, four to the front. Oh, don't want to mess up the hyper rare when I get it. Fire energy. Metacham. Pokeball. The original. Just really does it like no other ball can. Natsu. Barboach. Just feel like it looks better. The aesthetic. Sometimes simpler. Just looks better. Time pull. Looking real sad. Volibee. Okay, we got a V card. Another one. Copper Jaw. V. Adamantine Press. Rackdown. Number 136. 192. I think Copper Jaw is a pretty neat Pokemon. I thought it was weird when it first came out. Just all blocky look and kind of like, kind of looked like one of those odd blocky Scion cars. Or like that commercial with the gerbils driving it. Looks all right, and what's I guess what's pretty neat when you see the Pokemon is the uh, all that orange copper on it. That's pretty sick. All right, on to the next. I am thinking the hyper rare is in the back, and if we don't get a hyper rare, that's not possible. I mean, every booster box has got to have a hyper rare. It's like, come on, do I still got my sus suspicions here? That this is a search box? You never know. These people get really crafty when it comes to repackaging things. Morgrem, Palpitoad, Phantump, Dreepy, Farfetched, Hone Edge, Time Pull, Full Heal Reverse, Toxtricity, Regular. Yep, that's the version I don't have. The one I got looks like he's about to fall asleep on the battlefield. All right, Intellion, what do you got for me in here? Another absolutely adorable fat chonk Pikachu. All right, one, two, three. Four to the front. Let's just go straight to the back. Let's see. All right, all right. Hey, this is our... This is our VMAX card. Cinderace VMAX. Counter Max Pyro Ball. Number 36 of 192. Not the Pokemon I chose to start with. I chose Grookey. Grookey Gang all the way. I still think it's the coolest one. I really don't get why everyone's hating on him so much. But yeah. This card's pretty cool. With all that red going on. Not too bad. And it's got all that nice texture on there. Look at that. That's pretty neat. Alright. So we still haven't reached our Hyper Rare yet. Like I was wondering before, I wonder which one is the money card in this set. You know, usually in most sets, it's always the Charizard when they put a Hyper Rare in it. I have no idea if they do have a Charizard in this one. Two, three, four. And for all I know, that Cinderace is the most expensive car in the set. And I didn't react. The Blade. Heracross. 
Meditite, Stunky, Grubbin, Wingo, Natu, Phalanx Reverse, and Amanda Buzz. Nothing on that one. So we got we got a fair bulk left. We got a trainer box left here. You know, I say I'm tired, but I've been wanting to do something like get like two or three booster boxes and just go just open that maybe live like on a stream or something because I feel that would be more fun to interact with everybody while I'm opening the cards but that's not, that's something I definitely want to do but I swear to get so many booster boxes is going to be expensive okay so we got capacious bucket reverse non arcanine I mean, it's pretty cool artwork just raging but yeah, that's something I definitely want to try out. Just the idea of opening a whole bunch of boosters. And I say I'm tired now. That's probably going to kill me. But uh, when you share with others, it just makes it seem more fun. I mean, that's why I started the Instagram. Which if you guys haven't tried following yet, go ahead, take a look. I open stuff that I don't normally do on this channel. Oliana. Twin energy, and I did it so that way we can all just kind of share and send our pulls and just enjoy the whole collecting experience together, make it a little more fun. Snover reverse, Diggersby. Yeah, that's the evolution I don't like. What is up with him? Just looks like he's covered in sh. All right. <laughs> A few more left, everyone. And then I can go eat. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Alrighty. Got a darkness energy. The blade. Capture energy. Charge a bug. Toxel. Applin. Diramaka. Bunnelby. Vulpix. Lampert Reverse. And the Barbarical. Come on, bro. Where's my hyper rare? You in the back? I swear you better be a nice waifu card. Oh, damn, that one opened up real quick. The fishy part uh, when you're looking for a repack, if you're wondering, is when they put when you can notice the glue on the sealed areas. When you see that, yeah, that's when you know you've been taken. So when you know you've been had. Oxio, Durant, Farfetched, Meowth, Caterpie, Corsola, Litwick, Farfetched, and a Stone Jorner. Foil. Now, I haven't caught this one. Does this one only show up whenever you do that puzzle in uh, that first gym leader town? Because I've never seen this one in the game. All right. But yeah, that's why every time I check stuff, I look up here and I look down there. And just so you know, the usual spot is down on the bottom because everyone usually opens their cards from the top. So definitely do your research if you're buying from places like um, eBay. Because if you're not careful on eBay, yeah, they'll they'll get you. That's why I order mostly from Amazon. Doesn't mean it doesn't happen on Amazon, but I just feel like it's less likely. Tool Scraper, Cursed Shovel, Masquerade, Voltorb. Nose Pass, Wingo, Phantump, Bronzor, Squirt Reverse, and another Hollow, Chandelure. 
Another meh Pokemon for me. Let's move all y'all over here. Let's move this a little more over here. That pile is getting big. Eventually what I want to do is get enough bulk to trade in for a booster box. And the one place I'm going to do it with is... What are they called again? I forgot the channel. Two, three, four. But they have this thing where if you get like 3,000 cards as bulk, you can trade that in for a booster box or whatever the current set is. Bronzong, Milo, Looking Thick Boy, Snover, Vinicle, Darmaka, because, uh, It'll help me afford new stuff. Because I can't keep just dropping a whole wad on this stuff. Coughing. And a Garbodor. Literal garbage. Two more packs, everyone. I swear, that Hyper Rare better be in here. Well, maybe that Gigantamax is counted as it. It shouldn't be. I haven't pulled one of those yet. Okay, so these are code. So I haven't gotten to see one yet in real, in person. But I've seen them in a video, at least from the first Sword and Shield set. Got Fire Energy, Gelar Mine, Durant, and needless to say, I didn't like those either. <laughs> I don't know, man. The artwork is just, I mean, the artwork still looks good, but the way they do their foils now is just not very pleasing. Clefairy with that cute artwork. I really like that a lot. Wingle, reverse. And we got our V, Dragapult. And so this is its, yeah, so this is its, uh, what's it called? It's not a Gigantamax. This is just its regular. Dang it, what? Dynamax, that's what it's called. It's been so long. Bite, Jet Assault, number 92. 192. So this is one of those rare Pokemons that you can only get in one of those, uh, what do you call it? Those raids that they have in the overworld. I haven't seen one yet. But alright guys, we are on the last pack. Finally. <laughs> well, it's been long. This has been a long video. And I thought the magic video was long. No right guys, this has to have the Hyper Rare in it. I mean, come on, if it doesn't, I mean, what am I supposed to say? Code? All right, one, two, three, four. Come on. Come on, Arceus. Bless us with the Hyper Rare. Psychic, beware, Skyla. Come on, girl. Luxio. Low Tad. Clefairy, that cute artwork again. Voltorb. Growlithe. Dreepy. A Chatot reverse. And come on, come on. Please give me something sexy. All right. Mother. Ah. Oh. What the hell, man? Are you serious? My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined man that is just disappointing what what in the hell so what was our supposedly best card was it this one our cinderace vmax full art i mean it's a nice card but is that really the best card we got did I just get hosed or what? I have no idea. It had the original wrapping on it, so there's no way. So yeah, I guess... I guess this Cinderace is our best card. Well... I suppose we had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely... I'm definitely glad that I got all this new product to open. Now, I'm definitely going to have more videos for you guys. Definitely going to have more Rebel Clash coming your way. So look forward to that. So remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, 
ring that bell button so that way you're notified when those videos come out. And yes, I will also be opening the new Ikoria set for Magic when that comes out. So, with that everyone, I'll see you next time. And also, remember to follow the Instagram for things that you don't see on this channel.